Hi, um, I'm coming with a video on how to downgrade a iPhone 3G because I'm getting tired of the slow speed on iOS 4.2.1. So I'm gonna show you how to downgrade it Mac only. Um, I don't know if it's, you might have to find a different version or a different method. I may fi find one for people on Windows because that will be easier. But you want to go to IPSW downloads or IPSW.me. You get this this will be linked in the description. Um, I'm gonna go to iPhone OS 3.1.3 mainly because that's where it's mainly supported. A lot of the things are, and I'm also gonna save this. I'm gonna show you a video on that too because I'm already fil filming one on how to on how to jailbreak this on iOS 3.1.3, but I also do one on 4.1.2, 4.2.1 actually. Right, let's close this. So, it's going to go to iTunes, click here, and then we're going to turn this thing off. And if we don't have iRev, I'll link it in the description. So I'm just going to go to my Google Drive. I can spell it wrong. Maybe in this account, maybe in a different one. Alright, now I'm going to download a rec boot from the description. Um, grab it here. And I will also find something um, easier to do. If not, I can link something way better. We're we'll wait for that to download and we'll be back. Alright, and we're back. I also did find a method for Windows. So you guys aren't out of luck. I'll have it linked in the description down below. It's going to be a guide on that on how to get it to work. So I'm just going to go here, get this loaded up wherever it went. Okay. And now we're going to put the device in DFU mode. I don't know by holding power on for 3 seconds, holding power on home for 10 until the screen goes dark or basically looks like it's off and then you're going to hold it, once it goes off, hold it for 3 seconds and then release the power and if it comes back to the Apple logo, you got to do it again I put it in recovery mode it's my issue if you're in recovery mode Alright, since so it's now in recovery mode, you want to hold down power and home until it turns off. Alright, hold it down for a little more. And right about now, you should release the home button and then you should be in DFU mode. It's going to pop up asking, looking like it's in recovery. Hopefully. I, I don't know why it's an iPod. Um, this is iPhone. You're like shift uh, if, you're on, if you're on Windows it's going to be shift and restore or you're going to click on restore if you're on Mac it's going to be option and restore and then you're going to go to your iOS 2 1 2 1 dash 2 1 comma 2 1 dash you know 3 point 1 3 you dress down from ipsw.me and then your screen's going to turn white on your iPhone and then it's going to restore like normal. And then we'll be right back when it finishes. Alright, and now it's complete with the restore. And now you're going to get that 1015 error, which is going to say, you know, it's stuck in recovery mode. But what we do not, what it does not know is we have a sleeve up against our hand.
if you're on Windows, that little tool that that, that says Windows, you know, for Windows, it's gonna work for you. Now we have Breakboot. I don't know if this might work for some newer. It works really well with 10, 13, High Sierra. As oh, as you can see here, 10, 13.6 High Sierra. Try to press ex Exit Recovery. It's going to exit recovery. And then I'm going to wait for the device to boot up. And then when it gets to the screen, once it once you press exit recovery, it's going to have that little bar again. It's going to just set up the whole OS. It's going to move really fast. And then it should pop up here. But if you do not have a SIM card, you should put it in the phone right now so it activates. If not, you're going to be stuck on that screen all night. And iTunes will say it's not able to activate due to issues. As it should be doing right around now. Alright, just connected to the computer again. Because it just. I do not have the SIM card in right now. I'll show you what happens when you don't have it in. Hopefully it pops up. If, if not, it, it, when you don't have the SIM card in, it'll just say unable to activate when you put it in. See how it pops up? I'm just going to pop it right out. It's an iPhone. This is what you get when you don't have a SIM card in your phone for the 3, the 2, and the 3G and the 2G, sometimes the 3GS would ask for a SIM card, but there's ways to get around that. When you put a SIM card in your phone, this is what's going to happen. It should. Alright, and then you're going to press up to my phone. You can slide to unlock on your phone. And now you should be on iOS 3.1.3. This may work for iOS 2. Um, I will have to see. I always do this so I can actually update the name. But yeah, you'll have a little more storage. And yeah, iOS 3.1.3. This, these numbers I have are no longer in service. I call them. They do not work. And you're all set. If you guys have issues, uh, please let, let me know in the comments. I may update this video for the Windows people because I'm doing this on Mac, and I, I left you know very you know it works on I, Windows. You need iTunes 11, I think, or newer. Windows 7 or newer. So, and that tool I gave you in the description in that IPSW file, and that's all you need. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time in a new video.